I am appalled. My children will not be allowed to wear costumes on Halloween in their school. They have been told that they must endure a dance dressed in orange and black as opposed to enjoying conversations about video games and fake blood dressed in their favorite costume. You see, in Canada, one single complaint from one single individual to another single individual about a select subject ends up in an entire country's children being punished. There is a plague in our country, and that plague's name is cowardice. Somehow, every school principal in our once great nation has taken it upon themselves to be the moral voice for you and worse for me. They think they know better than we do. They think that dictating the terms of our future culture is their right. They're wrong. I hear a lot of nonsense about preemptively acting to prevent exclusion. Whom exactly are we excluding when children nationwide have chosen to have fun? The tradition of trick-or-treating has been around since the 50s, and costume-wearing has been around since the 1700s. 300-year-old traditions are not going to disappear because one elementary school principal says so. Not on my watch. It's time to fight back. And if not for you, do it for your children. And do it now. Cowards seem to be the only authority figures and decision makers in this country. But cowards will always back down from conflict. Make it known to your child's principal that you are ready for the fight. And that the message here is that when you make a decision based on fear, it is 100% wrong 100% of the time. Denying children their right to wear costumes on Halloween to avoid offending unknown individuals is a coward's decision that is 100% wrong. Please visit my website, savehalloween.com. Make your comments. Tell us the name of your school and the name of your school principal. It's time that we all start calling these people and emailing these people and hard mailing these people and telling them that we are disgusted by what they're doing. School principals have the duty to run their school, not define Canadian culture and not to rob Canadians of Canadian culture. Do not overstep your bounds.